Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're exploring the blind playthrough of a legendary equivalent difficulty. It's called uh, Commander here. The most highest difficulty essentially. Anyways, uh, tactical mission. We are looking at another terror mission. If we lose, there is a lot of panic involved. If we win, it's going to be a-okay. And tactic... Um, Terror missions in particular are interesting because they are difficult. So, we're going to launch our aircraft in a second. Good, here is the team. The Dragonfly is finally equipped. So we got two shields again. I think that's enough. I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to take a third shield, but the answer is no. I stay with two quick units. Shattered Realm and Epithelius, uh, both the Rifleman units. We stay with one Grenadier, again enough to remove cover. Cover is not presenting so much of a difficulty anymore. I add two additional heavies because uh, the suppression as well as just the overall damage that the heavy weapons are having is fantastic and if you, if you like to play it a little bit slower like I do the heavies does, uh, do have a great opportunity to fight on medium and long range. The weapon itself just deals a lot of damage, etc, etc. And I put in one additional sniper. I figured there is a bit of a natural saturation for snipers. At some point you just cannot find enough long uh, shooting lines to satisfy four or five uh, snipers. I was torn whether or not I wanted to go in with four snipers, but then I remembered our alien base mission where the snipers were actually less useful than, for instance, say the heavies. I am still not 100% sure if we might want to instead get another rifleman uh, instead of a heavy, but I think for now we're fine. In terms of Dragonfly just set up overall. We're putting our snipers back here. Got the heavies right here. Got the heavies right here. Both of the shields in front. Grenadier moves in as well and that seems like a strange but a correct formation. We're going to get out of here and here and we're going to be fine. I wonder if we can put additional vehicles up there. I haven't really played with vehicles and I will need to I will need to do that. So some of the money needs to go into more vehicles. For now though, we're going to launch exactly the dropship as you can imagine our freshly baked and new armor comes in handy and let's select new target i want a mission during the day not during the night don't want to deal with low visibility quite the opposite we want to deal with a lot of visibility because i can already see chrysalids being there terror missions and chrysalids go um, together like bread and butter hand in hand it has been since the dawn of time all right let's go all right we landed a <coughs> time for a terror mission Oh, we got some stalkers there. Interesting. Moving out. Uh, someone had a sniper in their backpack. No, apparently I removed that. Alright, Epi moves up. Takes a shot. Misses. Shattered Realm. A 
aggressively pushes forward. And that's why you want to have fast infantry. Polly takes a good look. Not standing anywhere near uh, that car. I have learned my fair share of lessons. No cars for us. Moving away from here, and you will see in a second why, because I don't like that cover. And the reason why I don't like it is because it blocks our vision, and we need a little bit better vision for the many heavies that are now going to come in. Jim. Positions over there. Enders. Stays over here. Uncle Nuber himself picks out the pistol. So he moves up. Nick Nick, the party snack. The dragonfly doesn't have the cool semi cover. Well, it apparently does, but it's not as visible. Oh, what is that? Let's give it a shot. Uh oh, I think we've just triggered something nasty. Okay, back. That was <clears throat> a bit of a real life accident here. What is this? Thing. Looks like a gatekeeper. Oh, it's pretty much a gatekeeper. All right, moving up with uh, Tony. And if there has ever been a good time to smoke something off, well, then it is now. Tony takes a pistol, the G moves in, and is ready for approach. That's why I like uh, smoke grenades on snipers. <clears throat> Typically, I move them last, out of uh, the um, out of uh, the aircraft, and then you can seal off certain passages. Okay, that thing just destroyed the environment. But we have no idea how how strong it really is. <clears throat> Looks like a big freaking eyeball. And we hear additional shots. Is that another one? Hmm. Very strange. It New enemies appear. I thought I've seen most of them, but apparently we have not. Apparently we have not. Okay. We're hearing shots in the distance, so and there are a lot of enemies. That's a given. But we do have a lot of soldiers as well, so...
I heard the sound of one of those repair robots that is flying around. And just a lot of glass breaking. With the amount of enemy shots that I'm hearing, we're maybe up against 20, 25, 30 enemies. As long as they are coming as singles, it should be good. And unfortunately, our early detection warning system has just shown us that there is someone in here. Potentially here, or here, just shot the guy. All right, I think I'm wondering whether or not we can remove a full bus. I think we can all agree that the bus is pretty much in the way. Alright, even after three solid grenades, the answer is no. Full auto. Removes almost everything, but does not kill this guy. Sniper shot. Unfortunately not successful. We're using explosives. That is not successful. Second one. A little bit of damage, but not a lot. Uh, this so stupid. Moving. Okay. Second one of these eyeballs. Well, great. Good. Nick, Nick. The party stack. Moving up with Widowmaker. And let's fully unload. Oh wow, the thing explodes. It took a lot of hits though. Epi moves up. Good, so this guy here has been the culprit, the one that uh, killed the civilian. No, it has not. Actually, his friend was the one. Okay, well now we do have a problem at our hands. Not even sure if we dealt damage. Polly moves up. snipe? I think the answer is yes. Big fat hit and that is helpful. Dilly G moves up. Another fat hit. 
And the explosion dealt at least 30 points of damage. Good. Very good. I think the big ones are dangerous. I just have the feeling they are. They are taking like 150 points of uh, worth of damage. With no more civilians here to act as bait. And we need to open up the walls. Very good. That thing will go down soon. We need to kill it before we kill the stalker. And I think as long as uh, the enemies are kind of dribbling in one by one, we should be fine. Good, as per the usual, a little bit of reload. Uncle Nuber moves up. And then F's it up. Last minute. But apparently does not kill anyone or injure them. Which means we're going back to conventional warfare. Triplet. And another triplet. Okay, not a problem. One more down. Moves to here. Zero will move to here. So we actually do have a nice little overwatch this way and that way. Natalia slowly but surely moves up, finds the enemies that she's looking for. Sniper moves up as well, Tony. Takes a shot, but is unfortunately not successful. This bus is an absolute annoyance. Tilius begins to move up and Shattered Realm. Make sure that we're not being uh, ambushed from the top, but it's good. We got a lot of overwatches. More stalkers are stalking. Triggers a lot of overwatches and is being suppressed at the end of the day.
really full hearted uh, wholeheartedly hate this boss. Can we somehow get it away? Okay, let's see. So you're telling me that you can destroy a train and make it disappear, but you can't do that with a bus. All right, gotcha. Just trying to understand the physics here. Good, one down, pistol in hand, love it, and the G. Puts himself into 100% cover. Not what I was expecting. All right, that did not work out. Let's start with laser weapons. Triplet. Another one. I'm just trying to remove the cover. Finally. Okay, that worked. Good. We know there is someone up there. Can't really open that. But we can start removing the front cover here. And soon the back side will be removed as well. Shields move up. And we're ending the turn. By the way, by thinking about it right now, I wonder if the stun baton is actually an offhand weapon. Because that would completely change the game of how the shield bearers would be played. Okay, you're not going to get out of there, believe me. Believe me. Okay, maybe not the right moment in time to double check that, but I'm curious nonetheless. So, say. No way! Oh my lord, that just completely blew my mind. Okay, I can tell you from now on. We're going to have a couple of <coughs> stun baton wielding shield bearers. That is so good. All right, the G. Just gets the guy down. I think there was another one in there. All right, Shattered Realm moves up. And since that bus already exploded, might as well start to move up. Epi moves to the convenience store. And 
and our other sniper zero takes better odds by standing over here good end of turn wow the stun baton is an offhand weapon that makes it incredibly good Okay, this guy apparently just pulled every single one. We'll, we'll still focus um, on the eyeball, which I think is the more dangerous foe. Tony takes a shot, hits very well. But unfortunately can't re immediately reload. Zero takes a shot. Not sure if we hit, to be fair. And the G. Takes another shot. Can't reload immediately. Okay, well, so far that actually went, relatively speaking, well. And now it's just a matter of finding enough bullets to hit. There we go. can't throw anything in there unfortunately Natalia moves over single shot misses okay striker it's over here And Epi moves forward. Okay, still got quite a few Overwatches ready. So let's go. The firepower of our team is amazing. There we go. The moment that he blinked, immediately got terminated. <clears throat> but we need to reload a bit more. Because we're running out of ammunition. The G doesn't have a line of sight. Reload here. Poor shot. But no, nonetheless hits, I like it. Laser rifle does not hit at all. Remove and cover. And then finishing the guy. <laughs> 
Good job. Very, very good job. Shattered Realm. What's up? Maneuver follows. Fortunately, you can't do it um, as you would do it in XCOM, where essentially where essentially you get uh, queue up commands and already move multiple multiple of your soldiers like that, and then tap and move the next one. Well, apparently you can queue them up, but they are still being processed individually. Okay, good enough. So I have to wonder... How many enemies are actually left? And are these big eyeballs counting for multiple enemies? Or does this game just throw enemies at random and every single one is like quote unquote equally strong? Our front line does exactly what a front line is supposed to do, moves forward. In the meantime, let's get a solid firing line going. G moves over here. Tony moves over here. Good, we're building, like I said, a firing line. All right, so I think we are pretty much done, done. Uh, let's end the turn. Our core idea now needs to be to move that fire line forward. And the enemy eventually will run into it and we're going to kill them. I guess it's maybe one more enemy. I was wrong with the 20 to 30. It just sounded like it. Once we have killed most of the stalkers, there's really much left. Uncle Uber moves up. Shoots. And we are finally finding the last enemy. There we go. up triplet shot a little bit of miss and miss okay
Yep, that's the first hit. I love it. That was a good one. The G spots another enemy, and I can tell you what we are going to do. We're turning around. What? What? Where is an enemy? He spots a visible enemy. Yeah, I get that one. I get that one. But there is apparently an enemy here. Super hidden. Zero moves up. Jim moves up. Anders moves up. There might be still someone from the other side, so Epi is basically overwatching this just in case someone is going to join us. Okay, that looks threatening to be honest. What a turn. Lost one shield. That is okay. Okay, need to take a short break. Let's get back into it. So, Natalia did not suffer any major consequences. But I think she needs to maybe just hover back a little bit. Let's take one shot. Move back and hunker down. That's far enough. I like that. And really what we're doing is we're shooting and removing cover. Uncle Nuber moves up, takes a shot, and is very successful with it. The G <clears throat> hits that big thing, which funnily enough is seems to be completely unbothered. Triple and another triple, unfortunately not successful. Um, where are the other snipers? Zero does indeed have a zero chance. Did he kill him? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Good 
Job Zero. I always trusted in you. We're pretty sure there was another one up here. Another stalker. So, Shattered Realm moves up. Moves up further and then takes shot. Just to remove some brushes. Good fucking job. Folly sees the enemy. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that's a problem. Let's take solid shots here. Before we're then going into cover, hunker down. Epi continues to move up. First fires, not successful. Removal of the remaining cover, not even that. Tony moves up, we need a different shooting angle. Look, I mean, we could move up and try to stun them, but is this thing dealing 30 MP damage? We would take explosion, uh, explosion damage, so we don't want that. In which case, we're actually hunkering down so that it shoots Paulie instead of anyone else. Okay. Well, We got a lot of damage, but that was to be expected. Shadow Realm typically does not take any damage, hasn't in a while. And to be fair, didn't take a lot of damage here either. Solid hit, another solid hit. And I think we killed it. I did want to stun it, but that might not be possible here.
that he takes the sniper. Can we get more cover out of the way? We're out of grenades. Moving into cover. And let's try to take away as much of uh, that guy's cover as possible. As long as we're far away, he has a huge advantage due to his stupid cloak. But once that runs off, things are looking a bit different. Okay, our shield does not have a lot of durability left, but enough to provoke some reaction from him. No, we don't. No, we don't want to shoot because that could explode the car, and we don't want that. Hagen Uber moves up. Can't really throw a grenade either. And we're moving into the open. With the sniper next turn we can get him. Same over here. Tony needs a better position. The cloak is a nasty surprise if uh, it is far enough away. <coughs> but somehow... This time we're worse in hitting this guy than we have been beforehand. Normally we were actually quite good. Nick Nick, the party snack. It wouldn't be a mission if the Grenadier would not be injured, right? Oh, Nick Nick this time is not the Grenadier. My bad. Anyways, triple, hunkers down, all right, the G. We'll bring this stupidity to an end. These soldiers do have proper weapons. And I have to wonder, since our shield has, like, what, five hit points? Might as well just take a proper gun. Good, let's get our firing line back.
Open up. Uncle Nooper. Shattered Realm moves up. Jim moves up. Epi moves up. We're a little bit shy on the lower end. So for starters, let's re reload the machine gun and then Zoe helps on the lower end. The G moves out, better aiming angles. Zero does the same on the other side, and I think we're okay. It's likely only one enemy left. All we need to do is find that guy and kill him. Also interesting to see that the normal uh, soldiers now do have laser weapons. Not sure where they got them from. But I appreciate them donating such a valuable uh, freight to us. But I'm just trying to open up more room for us. At the moment there is way too much clutter in the way. And slowly but surely we're just uh, opening it by removing all of the cover. Typically, in the past, there always had been like one enemy down here in that office co uh, complex. But as you can see, with, specifically with the laser weapons, I am just trying to open up areas for us. where the last guy is. Must be in one of the offices. Hmm. Tony begins to move up the roof because I've yet to discover what's up here. And to our surprise, nothing. The G moves up this roof. and discovers nothing. Our third sniper, zero, 
begins to move up the next roof. There might be one of them hiding here in that park. Need a little bit more support, I think, just in case something is going wrong. In the meantime, we are taking out most of the office supplies here. No stone is going to be left unturned. But I'm pretty sure no one is in that office. Maybe in the last room, but then again, where, where would all of uh, the aliens uh, go? Can only be the office complex here on the right hand side or the garden. Or that little mini that mini office here we we're going to figure out about that mini office in a second more visibility Absolutely strange. Wow, we suppressed our own operator. Well, fantastic. It's not the end of the world. I am wondering, though, where have all of the enemies gone? Removal of walls, nothing. Good, either back here or back there. Likelihood is low. Now just in case someone moves up here. of turn this supposedly is the only area where an enemy could be left Not even that. Nothing. Also not back here.
Look, I'm a bit puzzled. Hmm. Certainly not there either. Which begs the question, where are the enemies? Up here? Interesting thought. Well, if that's the case... Then it's time to turn around and accept that we've been searching at the wrong position all along. Moves up, moves up, moves up, there we go, we finally spotted an enemy. Nick-Nack moves up as well. Okay. Well, that was uh, the hide-and-seek guy. Lots and lots of shots. These platforms are not dangerous of, uh, uh, from an offense, but they are making very, very good support platforms, which I appreciate. It's actually good enemy design. It can only be at that um, gas station, because where else would enemies still hide? Okay, we do have the sniper. Just barely out of range. Fifty fifty, but did not hit currently. All right, Billy moves up.
Epi. Rinse over. As the front lines here are rapidly changing. Zoe sprints over. And Jim goes over. Shattered Realm moves completely out of line of sight behind the bus, which is helpful. The stalker is injured. You can see blood on the ground. Remove cover. Success. Enemy spotted. So that guy is finally suppressed, which is good. That's what we wanted. Unfortunately, we can't hit him from there. Okay, one of uh, these stray shots has killed him. I just want to remove the cover and then snipe him, to be honest. Okay, well, sometimes collateral damage can be our friend. Just gets to show how good um, heavy weapons really are, right? Because all you need to do is spray and pray, as Twitch from League of Legends used to say. All right, after action report. So a couple got a terror mission reward. That's good. And overall, we get, of course, get a lot more stats. Epitelius, on the one hand, did not get a single stat. Hmm. And apparently the big guys, the eyes were called cyber drones. I remember them from the original UFO. Pretty nasty enemy. 150 health, are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Frontal armor. Cyber drone has heavy frontal armor against anything from the front. Acoustic sensors pick up noise on the battlefield and will automatically orient the cyber drone towards them. Easier to hit. Robotic. Immune to stun, gas, and morale. Can take EMP damage and hovering. Oh boy, it can even fly like a jetpack. So yeah, we're not shattering any bravery here. I'm more concerned about the 150 health. This thing is huge. I wonder, we potentially can't capture them, can we? I don't know. Well, at the moment, normal equipment is off the table anyways, because what we want to do is aircraft supply. We need upgrades 
all of the weapons. And we're researching even more technology. So, in the US, we have an additional hangar, which is good. Our problem is we can't shoot down the U UFOs, so that's a bit of an issue. Advanced stun weapons, electroshock pistol, rifle, grenade. Okay, we're going to look into that in a second. Oh boy, we can create so much here. 100 grand for EMP and electroshock grenades. Wow. Stun baton for 10k almost looks cheap in comparison. 250 grand for proper upgraded um, grenades. Stun gun. We already have that. I really like that automated module. That looks fantastic. Electroshock pistol. 35 stun, 35 EMP. Uh, compared to the stun gun, that is uh, way more stun. Yeah, I like it. And we got a rifle. Ooh, look at you. All right, 45 stun. What does the stun baton uh, give again? <clears throat> 20 stun, <clears throat> but you can hit often. I like the rifle. This one here is good. If we want to capture more specimen alive, that's the way to go. But money is tight at the moment. Very tight. I need an accelerated gun next. Alenium warheads would be good. And we need the Gauss Blaster, so that's already a mill gone. I like the Surgical Center. I definitely like an upgrade of uh, the workshop because we're currently still working with that old workshop. And we need to sell stuff in order to in order to speed up our production. Good, our interceptors finally are back in action. And now we do have the problem, right? Uh, we want weapon upgrades. Cyber drones go for 25 grand a pot. And that's 100 grand right there. How can I not do that? A lot of rat corpses, a lot of civilian corpses. A lot of sectant corpses. I need money because here's the thing. If we can't shoot enemies down, then this is going to be uh, become a problem. So the civilian officer is good. Captured sectants, captured reapers. Surgical tables. We're just going to sell 
anything but the officers. We can't get a VIP back, so I don't want that to go away. Yeah, we need money. Lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Good. That's a big fat infusion of cash right there. But it is needed. Because we need accelerated weapons next. <clears throat> Once that is done, Gauss Blasters. Because here's the deal. These bad boys here deal more damage and can take a punch, but if we're just going in with uh, the laser lance, that won't be enough, I, I fear. Good, accelerated cannons done. More air weapons, this time gauze blasters. And then we're upgrading our weapon, all of our aircraft weapons to ghost blasters. And then we need the warheads. I think they were 250 as well. Okay, aircraft weapons, 300. Um. I mean, we need enough. We need with our with our increased size of soldiers. We need a few more boss weapons. Well, we can come to that in a second. Let's start with the obvious stuff here. Boss blasters, um, fifteen damage. One armor destruction three, fifteen damage. Doesn't penetrate armor. Reload time one second. Yeah, this is four times as much DPS. Good. Our problem are not the smaller ones, our problem are the bigger UFOs, which means we're just loading harder weapons at this point, heavier weapons. Coming back to the question, do we need these upgraded missiles or, or, hear me out, instead of sinking 300 grand into it are we um, deploying further, further aircrafts that would be 500 grand a pop I want to see how our normal aircrafts are doing but for that we will need upgraded missiles and the Alinea missiles aren't bad they're actually quite good. So, do we have any more money that we can make? I think not enough to actually make a difference. Could sell a lot of Elenium, but we might need that for something else. I'm happy to have it at the moment.
We could sell our old weapons, the accelerated sniper rifles. That's That might be not too bad because this here is 200 grand and we've paid much less for them. Funnily enough, the laser stuff costs costs less. So I'm wondering if you could actually create accelerated weapons and then sell them in order to make money. Weapons. Oh, it's just rifle, shotgun, they all cost 50. Just a, well, it has an alloy cost to it, so it's not for free. And 50 is, is steep. Uh, five alloys is steep. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it since it does have alloy costs um, associated with it. Launch interceptors. All right, Europe. Phantom one and two. Let's see what the new interceptors can do. The small ones we can't even commence further. The interceptors were quite strong, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's see. Worst thing that could happen is we're going to get shut down. Oh wow, we already lost one phantom. So a little bit feedback towards... Um, towards just air combat in general and balancing off the game. I did have the upgraded, to my knowledge, best um, aircrafts. I did have two of them and I do have the best weapons available. How is it possible that three small UFOs kick my ass so bad that I can't even, I can't even survive? Yeah, something is wrong. Good. What do I need in particular? So they are currently being rebuilt. That's fine. We're selling a bit of Elenium. I don't want to sell a lot of it. But yeah, in our main base... There is going to be a new hangar. They need to get a third um, Phantom in here. It's crazy if you think about it. We just literally bought uh, these and they did have the best cannon heart um, cannons that they could have and they do have even upgraded armor and we did not stand a chance. Select new target. Let's see if we can 
get them. And we're potentially just going to suffer the same fate, really. Interceptors are ultra strong. It's going to roll away from all of those four torpedoes. Yep, there you go. Just rolled away like it's nothing. Think about it, okay? So these have less hit points, way less hardness, and we just wreck them. Uh, salvage teams are extracting the following items for delivery. Okay, well. Got a few small items out of that whole ordeal. Air combat is busted. It is not straightforward. Fusion grenades for vehicles, fusion warheads. Let's continue with a cleaner. Oh, I need to upgrade the missiles, air weapons. 500 grand. Oh, what, what is this goodie going to do? Huh? 60 damage. And it has a reload time. Well, you know, I mean, maybe we need missiles, who knows. We're currently getting Alenium Warheads and then Fusion Warheads appears to be kind of uh, the even a better version of that. We have no money, so nothing is going to happen. But yeah, let's just, for the sake of trying it, try to put an Alenium Warhead in there. I think the cannon hard points were better, but what do I know? We just got our asses kicked. Upgraded missiles, upgraded missiles. Upgraded missiles and upgraded missiles. Very good. Okay, so far that worked well. UFO interceptor. A lot of health, twice the amount. An interceptor appears to be an enhanced version of the fighter UFO, small and deadly. And they do have fusion missiles, which might which might uh, result in that huge amount of damage. Good, we have bigger radar, that's fine. At the moment we're just waiting for the next UFOs or stuff to happen. Quantum Beacon. When finally decoded, the signal contains a library of three-dimensional images, detailed schematics of the transmitter. Anything broadcasting a powerful quantum signal can also be used to triangulate hyperdrive. Um, it is thus the rare, predictable XDF archives came in an abrupt end within days of upgrading the devices online. 
Okay, so essentially they have searched into the hyperdrive and then made ourselves more visible. Well, that sucks. Good. We have a new hangar in Europe, which is what we're going to use now in order to... What? <laughs> Congratulations, you've reached the end of content currently in Zero Nodes 2. You can continue your campaign, but no additional types of UFOs will appear. Our next major upgrade will further extend the playable section of the campaign. Any thoughts and feedback on your experience so far would be appreciated. Um, okay, so let's have a little bit of a feedback and thought uh, session because apparently I didn't know that this would be the last episode, but there is endgame progress. So we're continuing. This game shows towards completing the endgame. Our plan is to defeat the alien invasion. Once it reaches 100%, final mission will be unlocked. Uh, okay, we're going to do that, of course. So, no feedback yet, but we are going to get there eventually. Aircraft weapons. We're going to start producing fusion warheads. Yes. We're going to get another phantom interceptor. So I can't ex uh, accept that we have been beaten so badly. Then what else do I want to upgrade? I like the idea of that automatic module. I like the idea of Helenium grenades. which then runs into fusion up uh, grenades. And upgraded electroshock grenades. Uh, let's do not, not do that. Yeah, I think this time we're going to have a lot of upgrades. Good. Look, guys, this is the end of today's episode. I need to think about what we're going to do with the rest of uh, the playthrough. I definitely want to go to 100% progress and want to showcase some more of the advanced technology. That's going to happen, but I need to figure out what we're doing with the UFOs. This is just ridiculous. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.